To friends, Scott Jackson was generous and reliable, a doting grandfather and the kind of dad who danced to make his daughter blush. I would be like, Dad, you're so embarrassing. And I wish I could just tell him that so bad. Like, just embarrass me one more time, annoy me one more time. Like, just, just bug me. Balloons and a picture now rest in the yard where her father died. Jackson was delivering firewood Saturday to this man who asked to remain anonymous. As we're loading up the wheelbarrow, this random guy shows up and gets directly in my face, confronts me and accuses me of being on his property, being in his house, uh, and he never wants to see us again. They say they asked the naked man, later identified by police as Chrysanta Simondi, to leave so they could all get out of the cold. According to an arrest warrant, that's when the 27-year-old grabbed a piece of firewood and hit Jackson in the head before turning toward the other man. When he was pursuing me and attacking me, I was looking at death in the face. He escaped and called 911. Court documents indicate Amandi returned to an Airbnb down the street where he'd rented a single room. A tenant staying in a different room told police Amandi, still naked and yelling threats, then tried to force his way into her room. Police arrived and say they tased the 27-year-old after he refused to follow their commands. He took somebody that I'll never be able to call, I'll never be able to see again. And I just want my dad to get the justice that he deserves because he went out in a very bad way. De Leon says she's torn over how harsh the penalty should be. She wants to forgive, she says. She's not there yet. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.